And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all of us, welcome to America's favorite answer and question game, Jeopardy. You know how we play it. We provide the categories and the answers, and it's then up to our contestants to give us the right questions. And here's your host, Alex Lippett. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Riddle Quest. I'm here with our reigning champion, Charlotte Pickles. She drank the poison that Captain Hook intended for Peter Pan. Tinkerbell! Aren't we forgetting something, Marge? You were down $5,200. But, Mr. Trebek... I asked you before the game if you knew the rules, and you said you did. Judges? Red Mom! Fuck him. He rode down. Who is the ghost, greatest host of syndicated <laughs> TV? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. You know what, Oscar? On my pizza, I'm one of those people who really likes this calcium-rich herring relative. What about you? Well, I like them in my milkshakes. What? You're not serious. <laughs> so sometimes it works that way. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you were paying attention because the young man from the Jeopardy staff who handles <laughs> rehearsal games is named Glenn Kagan. And whenever there's a rehearsal game, Johnny does the introductions and introduces Glenn. Oh. And if you were paying attention just now, he made a mistake for the first time in 16 years and introduced me as Glenn Kagan. Oh. And there's Johnny Gilbert. <laughs> hey, Big Bird, isn't it true that good nutrition is one of the special themes on Sesame Street this year? Oh, yes, it is. And did you know that eggs are incredibly rich in this? <laughs> Quiet, Let me tell you how easily forgotten my first uh, television quiz show in the United States is. I referred to it a few moments ago as the Wizard of Oz. I had forgotten that it was called the Wizard of Odds. Light. Okay, Melissa. This automotive tool is used to tighten bolts. What is a torque wrench? You're absolutely right. And, Dee, you don't have to phrase it in the form of a question. Okay. Would all three of you like to be my friends? I hope so, because we're going to be celebrating Mr. Rogers. Celebrating Mr. Rogers, 400. In 1969, Mr. Rogers testified before the Senate to fight this president's proposal to cut federal grants to PBS in half. And one, Sean. Who's Richard Nixon? Yes. I was informed backstage a few minutes ago right. that our okay. three contestants, Ken, Brad, and Jerome, wanted to relieve some of the tension, and they said we must do the program without trousers. All right, players, the answer once again is it was the first spacecraft to land on the surface of Mars. Adam, what was your response? Kebert Zella. Only saying his name backwards can send him back to the fifth dimension where he belongs. Kiebert Zella, which is Alex Trebek backwards. I heard that sends you back to another dimension. <laughs> sends me back where? <laughs> another dimension. Alex will get to relax for the weekend while I go to that other dimension. So I don't like spending time with stupid people. <laughs> so I have very few friends. <laughs> I'm worried about you. I've been watching some of your monologues lately, and I'm concerned. I think you are starting to lose it. If you don't do a good job writing clues for Jeopardy, this is what happens to your material. What's going on? You're not Alan. You're right. I'm not Alan. I'm Alex. But I'm here to tell you about the specials of the day. Welcome to our special Tuesday, April 1st edition of Wheel of Fortune. I'll leave you to figure out uh, why I'm here today. One of the great positives that I see in my life is my curiosity, my love of learning. That has been true throughout my entire life, and I think it's probably one of the reasons why uh, I have succeeded as the host of Jeopardy, because I've never lost that love of learning. You're the best, Alex. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's true, and I should get credit for it. Okay. No, what it is, we love you out. That's very kind. <laughs> Thank you. Costs you $19.95. You're left with five bucks. Okay. 
if we, because so many of us are involved in this same situation, if we take it just one day at a time with a positive attitude, anything is possible. And to walk off that stage and, and, and you're done with Jeopardy. What do you imagine that to be like? It'll be a significant moment for me, but I've kind of, in my mind, rehearsed it uh, already. And uh, I, what I would do on that day is tell the director, time the show down to leave me 30 seconds at the end. That's all I want. And I will say my goodbyes. I will tell people, don't ask me who's going to replace me because I have no say in that whatsoever. But I'm sure that if you give them the same love and attention and respect that you have shown me for the past 30, however many years, then they will be a success and the show will continue being a success. And until we meet again, God bless you and goodbye.